to study with Malsha YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn another new complex example of selection condition pseudocode. See this example. The staff of a carnival only allows children above certain heights to ride the roller coaster. Condition 1. Child's height is more than 4 feet, then high five and allow the child for the ride. Condition 2. Child's height is 3.10 feet to 4 feet. If their parents give permission, allow the child for the ride. Condition 3. Child's height is less than 3.10 feet. So here we should prevent the child from entering the ride. So now I am going to find out my inputs, outputs and the other conditions separately. Look at the first condition. So here you can see this part will be the condition. And if the condition is satisfied, these two outputs will be executed, right? Okay, now let's go to our next condition. So here, this one will be the condition. And here you can see there is another condition. If the parents give the permission. So this will become another condition here. So here we have two conditions. And these are the outputs. Right. So finally, if none of these conditions are satisfied, the staff should prevent the child from entering the ride. Okay. So now let's write the pseudocode. So I have begin with the keyword start. So next I can get the input like this. So the input will be entering the height of the child. Now we can write our conditions and the outputs. Okay, finally we can end all our if clauses and else if clauses with these statements. Okay, so here I have three end if keywords. And finally, I'm going to end my start. So now you can see how to separate your condition statements and end them separately when you are writing a pseudocode. Okay. So dear kids, if you need to be an expert of writing quotes, you should practice well by writing your own quotes. So here I have given you some uh, small Practicing questions, you can write your own quotes and check from our Facebook group. So, see you with the next video soon. Thank you very much.